What's up, everybody? I'm Bobby with Tech360.tv, and it's August. You know what that means. It is the battle of the flagship smartphone, second half 2018. And I have the first contender in my hands right now, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, I do want to point out that our reviews are not sponsored or paid by anybody. Our thoughts and our thoughts only. Samsung loaned us the phone for review, so let's get down to it. First and foremost, comparing it to the Note 8 of last year, they look roughly the same. But let's get down to what makes this phone a little bit different on the outside. First and foremost, the size of the display. It is now 6.4 inches. That's a 0.1 inch difference than last year's version. Does it make a big difference? Not so, but they have improved the quality of the display. Gotta give the Samsung. It is beautiful and it's breathtaking. And by most accounts, it's pretty much the best display on any smartphone to date. Um, also, you're gonna notice the phone is a little bit wider than last year's version. Slightly, but it does make it feel more balanced in the hands. And last but not least, this is a biggie, the fingerprint sensor is now below the camera, not next to it. Yes, no more smudging in the camera, but depending on the size of your hands, it might not be as ergonomic to use it on the back of the phone. But besides that, the phone looks roughly the same as last year's version. Of course, different colors this year. We have the ocean blue, which is the flagship color with the yellow S Pen. We have a bronze color, a black, and a lilac purple. But let's talk about what's inside the phone because that's what really makes the Note 9 different First and foremost, in the North American market, they're gonna have the Snapdragon 845 processor in it. Here we have the Exynos 99810 processor in Singapore. Uh, benchmarks are really good on it. It's fast, it's fluid. Also, six gigabytes of RAM in the 128 version, eight gigabytes of RAM in the 512 gigabyte version. 512 gigabytes, that's right. And if you top it off with an SD card of 512, you get one terabyte of storage. That's insane people have a terabyte of storage to actually put in their phones? Probably not, but it's there if you want it and Samsung made sure you have it. But let's talk about one of the big improvements of the Note 9, and that is the battery life. Now, we know after the Note 7, Samsung was a little bit gun shy about putting a bigger battery into phones. Samsung said, we are going full on into the battery game, and they came out with a 4,000 milliamp battery into this. And let me tell you, I've been using it full resolution on this screen and I'm easily going through a day, no problems at all. I mean, but if you're a conservative user, you will get a day and a half out of this phone easily. What else inside of this phone that makes a difference? Okay, now they are running uh, Android 8.1. They still have that Samsung skin over it, but I have to say out of all the Android skins out there, and I've used quite a few over this past year, I gotta say Samsung's is the most refined. Now, one of my favorite features actually is using the S Pen to control the camera because actually you get a much stabler shot because one hand on the phone, one hand just clicking the pen and I'm just getting pictures because sometimes when you use two hands, you get a little bit of camera shake. Now imagine if you're in a group setting, you got a bunch of people around you and you know, it's always hard to like use your thumb and take a photo, right? It's very tough to just get this because you get a lot of shake. But using this to take the picture and you can use the pen to control different apps as well. It doesn't have to be camera or PowerPoint. You can use it in different apps and there's a selection of apps to use it. And this is a Bluetooth remote. This makes the Note 9 different than any other smartphone on the market. Now let's talk about the camera. Now for the most part, the hardware is the same as the S9 Plus. However, there have been some improvements in the software. What I notice in the selfie camera, first and foremost, is that when you turn the beauty mode off, it looks more natural, more detailed to the photo. It's not as warm as, let's say, an iPhone, but it's not as cool as, like, say, the Huawei or the Oppos. Now, in the rear camera, they have improved that as well. They've taken away a little bit of that noise reduction processing they were known for, made a little bit more natural, but they also have this artificial intelligence built into the camera now that actually um, depicts scenes. It's hit and miss. Uh, yesterday, I was shooting a street scene, there was nobody around, but it was saying that there's a person there. Maybe the camera saw something I didn't see. It was at night, you never know. In addition to AI, another cool feature that Samsung implemented into the camera is flaw detection. Someone blinks, someone moves, there's a smudge on the camera lens, Samsung notifies you so you can retake the photo to get the optimal picture. Now it's a small thing, but how many times have we taken pictures of people and you think, oh, it's a great shot. And you go to check the picture, and the eyes are closed. It happens all the time with my girlfriend. So this has made it a lot easier. Pictures look really good on it, I have to say. Low light performance is decent. Is it class leading? Not quite, but it's comparable to all the other smartphones out there. Overall, admirable job by Samsung. Can't complain about the camera. I think they did a good job. 
Let's talk about another upgrade, and that's intelligent scan. Now, before there's always iris scan and facial scan and, and so forth and so forth. Now, Samsung has sort of integrated it all into one. It's kind of hit and miss though. I mean, when you're not wearing glasses, it's pretty quick. I would say about the same speed as the iPhone 10. If you wear glasses, it has a problem recognizing it. Now, what are the things I don't like about the Note 9? Well, to be honest, not much. I actually really like what Samsung's done with the Note 9. It's similar to the Note 8, but they've improved on a lot of the features that I've been wanting as a user. Um, but there's one thing and it starts with a B. Bixby button. I don't like the Bixby button. I think it's a little bit too intrusive. And what happens is when you keep pulling the phone out of your pocket, you're always touching the Bixby button. And guess what happens? Bixby launches. I feel it's a little bit too intrusive. I get the whole Bixby concept. I understand why Samsung is doing it, especially with the TVs and the smart home and the refrigerator and all these things that Bixby's integrated into. But I don't want it to be so in your face on the phone. I want an option to use it or not. So as of August 15th, the date we're shooting this video, this option of turning off the Bixby button is not present. If it changes, I don't know. We will let you know if it does. But that's the one of the things I don't like about the Note 9. The other, of course, was the intelligence scan, which I mentioned the face recognition. It's not as good as other options out there. But besides that, Samsung has done a really good job with the Note 9. For the 120 gigabyte version with six, six gigabytes of RAM, it's a mouthful. It's 1,398 Singapore dollars. Now for the eight gigabyte, 512 gigabyte version of the Note 9, it is 1,728 Singapore dollars. That's a lot of coin for a phone. That's a laptop. That's a laptop and phone for some people. Now, if you're watching this Note 9 review, you're probably wondering, hey, wait a second, is that the Galaxy Watch on my wrist? Yes, it is. And I also have with me the uh, 42 millimeter rose gold version as well. Now these are not production units, so I don't want to give this a full review, but I will give you uh, some first impressions of the watch, having used it for about a day. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I love the design of the uh, Galaxy Watch. Um, love the two-tone stainless steel with the black bezel. It uh, looks really good, really sporty, very classy. You can change the watch straps uh, to make it your own. Uh, the display is vibrant, it's beautiful. It looks classy, and as you can see, these graphics now, as you move the watch, the display also gives us different shimmer as well. You can actually hear ticking in the watch if you listen closely. It's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's a small detail Samsung's put in the Galaxy Watch that makes it stand out. Even if you're in the market for a smartwatch, when this Galaxy Watch comes to market, definitely give it a look. I think you're gonna be impressed by it. So all in all, I gotta say I really like the Note 9. Um, it's not a big departure from the Note 8 or the S9 Plus, but the small improvements that Samsung has done to the phone has really made it a lot better, more refined. Um, I like the camera a lot better. It feels great in the hand. It's powerful, it's fast in the storage and the battery life. I mean, they've really done a good job with this phone. But I wanna hear from you. What are your thoughts on the Note 9? Leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.